Well, in the last episode of the Bling Bling of Power, uh, Galadriel led the Numenorians into the Southlands to teach those damn orcs a lesson. And uh, it all seemed to go pretty good until, well, they didn't count on the cult of Sauron having a nuclear weapon. Well, all right, see, apparently in the Southlands, uh, when you screw with the plumbing, it, uh, it ignites a volcano. So that's how Mordor was created. Oh, and in case you didn't catch that, don't worry. In the end of this episode, uh, called The Eye. Yeah. yeah. It's not quite the Eye of Sauron because he's not, uh, you know. Anyway, at the very end of this episode, uh, we find out what happened to Adar. He's still around. He's hanging out with his orcs and stuff. And see, with all the cloud cover from the output of the volcano, they don't have to hide in the shadows during the daytime they can they're 24 7 now but anyway uh yes it spells out in case you didn't know it says this is mordor because <laughs> uh, that's how bad the show is you know they, they, and they assume you're just as stupid as they are and you you haven't figured it out yet or something I don't know. anyway so, uh, boy, it looks really bad, and even Galadriel is sort of, uh, this is all, somehow I can't help but feel this is all my fault. <laughs> uh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, little Theo says, no, it's mine, because he found the stupid sword and all that, but he didn't really know what it was for. Uh, the creepy old guy from the cult of Sauron, now, he knew, because he took it right to the little keyhole in the ground anyway yeah it, apparently Sauron was a plumber in his early day anyway so uh, it's all a wonder gee who survived and who, you know who didn't and it looks like just about everybody did I mean there were some extras who were all dead and maimed and stuff but um, yeah for a while there Theo figured his mom was dead but now they find her uh, well, was his dad dead no nah, he's there uh, well I assume he's the dad you know um and uh, but the queen, oh oh, she got blinded. So so yeah, not everybody's that's good. Of course, uh, they all think Isildur's dead, and uh, he was trying to save somebody, and, and the, the whole burned up shack fell on him. Um, but I, unless they're going to say this is an alternate universe, <laughs> or someone else takes the name, nah, I I don't know. Oh, speaking of uh, the characters, apparently uh, uh, Galadriel's husband's dead. Or maybe he disappeared. Maybe that's the deal. And he'll show up again. Uh, after she finds out hell runs really Sauron because they're all making goo-goo eyes at each other. Turns out he survived too. Of course he did. Uh, but he's badly wounded, so he's got to go to to the elf world and get, you know, elf healing and uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, not to be outdone, the Fartfoots show up, and they're still on their, their little, uh, you know, uh, migration whatever their hike through the through the middle earth lands whatever and um once again there's more fire and stuff uh because one of the uh, uh rocks from the, the volcano hit an area and they're all like ah oh, look at this so it's like a small patch of area that's all burnt up and stuff so uh some apple trees got kind of marred by it so they turned to gandalf to fix it and uh, he tries but he's still kind of stupid and uh, almost uh, kills one of the heart, uh, fartfoots, and uh, he wanders off feeling bad. But the next morning, everything's great. All the apple trees are back in, in full bloom, and, you know, great uh, juicy red apples for them to collect, and they do. But then uh, the satanic priestesses show up, and stupid Nuri thinks, oh, I got to talk to them. They can probably help Gandalf. And so yeah, she does, but uh, this causes a problem because her dad thinks they're a menace, which he's not wrong, and uh, threatens them with a torch. Uh, but then uh, the the head satanic priestess, uh, she uh, you know puts it out, and then apparently uh, turns that into a massive fire that burns all their shitty little wagons down. And uh, so they decide, uh, Nuri, I gotta go find Gandalf. And so her uh, friend Samantha Well. Uh, she'll take off with him. Uh, well, you're not going by yourself. 
so mommy's gonna go with him and then uh, some old bag says hey the, you need a, a guy who knows how to track uh, and so uh, Lenny Henry's got to go with him even though he doesn't want to but then he says everyone's gonna die anyway because uh, that was the only apple trees they could get to and all that stuff is burnt down so now they got no apples to eat so they're probably all gonna starve I guess I don't know and they suddenly realized hey maybe our philosophy of not helping people is kind of rotten and nasty so it took them a while to figure that out but it sounds like they figured it out so that's something um yeah that's about it um uh, like Gladriel gives Theo her sword cause you know why not and um uh, then uh, the the blind queen, oh, oh well, uh, the captain, what's his name? He's upset because he thinks Isildur's dead. But the blind queen says, yeah, we've only begun to fight. So she's, they're going to leave a garrison behind to help out the Southlanders. And then uh, she's, I guess, going to regroup back in, back in Numenor and then come back and strike hard again against, you know, the orcs who are just clumsy idiots. They didn't really have anything to do with this volcanic strike, you know? It was just that one crazy guy, the, the creep, who seemed to know what to do. And uh, he activated the volcano key. Because, again, when you mess up Middle Earth plumbing, volcanoes go off. So, there you go. That's a uh, bling of power. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so the dwarves, uh, you know, the Elrond's down there saying, hey, we're all going to die out if we don't uh, mine some of that glowy crap in your mountain. And uh, the king said, nah, not going to do it because I think you know, this was meant to be. And if you're dying out, well, you're supposed to. That's just the way it is. Sorry. Sucks to be you. Well, his son's like, no, that's wrong. Daddy, you're wrong and stuff. And then his wife. Uh, you need to nut up and stand up to your daddy and all this stuff. And so they they break in, they smash a hole in the wall, and then, oh, my God, look, there's tons of it everywhere. And uh, one of the little pieces of rock, uh, you know, uh, heals a, a leaf. And and so that's a sign that uh, it's all good stuff, you know. Well, the king's not happy about that, so he boots the elf out and strips his son of his, you know, princely rights or whatever and then shuffles off feels sorry for himself but tells his guys to uh, seal up the hole in the wall and so they, they do but as but unbeknownst to them the leaf slips through and uh, goes all the way down to the bottom and wakes up the bell rock so th uh, there you go and he's still down there and now he's mad because they woke up his nap and, uh, th and so there's that there's that and that's it. Can't wait for next week, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the showrunners, they're saying if you're not watching the show, apparently, you're all bigots and horrible people. Haven't heard of that before.